Hey folks, I'm Rob Franick. I'm editor-in-chief here at the Princeton Review. Folks, one of the most common questions that we hear from prospective medical school applicants over the age of 30 is whether they're too old to apply to medical school. The hesitation, my friends, is understandable. Medical school takes four years, plus another three to eight years to complete your residency, and some doctors even go on to create, create I mean, complete a fellowship after that. A career in medicine entails a huge investment of both time and money, and that should not be taken lightly. But that all said, the idea that a candidate would be too old to start medical school is a misconception that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, there are some surprising advantages to becoming a doctor later in life. And we're going to cover four of those advantages together today. Benefit number one, maturity and experience. Non-traditional students bring a seasoned perspective and maturity to their medical school experience. This can be a benefit when you're interacting with patients. Younger residents may have a harder time establishing their credibility and connecting to older patients at the start of their careers, while non-traditional residents may find that older patients are more likely to trust them. And when patients trust their doctors, they're more likely to open up, which can make it easier for doctors to treat them. It's a virtuous cycle, my friends. And part of that maturity could be the result of having had a range of life experiences. And that leads me to my second benefit that we're highlighting today. It's not just that non-traditional students are likelier to have more life experience, but they also are likelier to have more experiences doing different kinds of things. And having pursued other paths in their lives to date, they're likely to have clear and compelling reasons to pursuing medical school a bit later than the typical medical school candidate. In an article by the Association of American Medical College, Sarah, a 42-year-old uh, student at the University of Michigan Medical School, shared that she was glad she waited to attend medical school. After a 15-year career conducting research at the, uh, at the Smithsonian Institution and working in urban forestry, she was drawn to medicine out of her desire to care for patients. She shared that it took a little longer to reflect on whether medical school was going to be right for her because she wanted to have certainty and clarity. Another 41-year-old medical school student, Kristen, at the University of Arizona, that's the College of Medicine, it's in Tucson, actually had very little interest in medicine until she was married to a doctor and became a mother. She left behind her career in telecommunications to pursue medicine, medicine pardon me, and to work directly with patients. She noted that her previous career and parenting experience prepared her to navigate the business and regulatory sides of healthcare and to solve conflicts with others through diplomacy and coalition building. So, like Sarah and Kristen, many non-traditional students have already pursued careers in the corporate world and beyond, accruing experiences that have equipped them with invaluable skills, like the ability to manage people and to take initiative and to make decisions under stress. Even our expert teachers at the Princeton Review have observed that their older students are often more highly motivated and focused students because they've had time to really think about their plans before deciding that medicine was the right fit for them. The third benefit that I want to underscore uh, is being a non-traditional applicant is, uh, is that non-traditional applicants stand out to admission teams in a very good way. Remember, the goal of admission teams is to build a diverse incoming class consisting of students with varied life experiences and perspectives. With non-traditional applicants, admission folks know that they're dealing with candidates who not only understand the dedication that it takes to earn a medical school degree, but also bring with them unique experiences that will enrich the medical education of their younger peers as well. Many members also appreciate the fact that a higher percentage of non-traditional students apply to enter primary care to work directly with patients. And this is an area of medicine that has a shortage of doctors. It also places a lot of emphasis on physician uh, comportment as well as strong interpersonal skills, assets that many non-traditional students already possess. And finally, our fourth benefit of being a non-traditional medical school applicant is having emotional intelligence and mental readiness. Studies suggest that uh, emotional intelligence increases with age. Having already survived the twists and turns of your 20s, perhaps along with navigating a previous career and raising a family and weathering challenges, non-traditional students are likely to be more emotionally and mentally prepared for the grueling and rigorous nature of medical school. 
and that many of their classmates uh, will benefit from that experience. Many medical schools value the emotional intelligence and mental readiness that non-traditional students possess. If you're an untraditional applicant to medical school, please do leave us a comment and let us know what led you on the path to medical school. Thanks as always so much for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel for the latest updates about admissions and experience and study tips and a whole lot more. Again, Rob Pranik, Editor-in-Chief, signing off for today. Thanks.